Okay, now let's have a look at something quite important, which is going to help you in your engineering and science careers, this concept of dimensions. Now we have many parameters in life, let's think of some length, a very common parameter, and it has dimensions, of course, of meters. Other parameters, we can go for mass, kilograms, we can go for time, seconds, we could have light, which we measure in candela, in case you didn't know. Force, which we measure in newtons. Power, which we measure in watts. Voltage, which of course we measure in volts, etc., etc. Okay? Now, the key concept with dimensional analysis is... We can look at all of these and all the rest down here and we can say, let's write this because it's important, all can be expressed in terms of Just, underline just, in terms of just length, which we denote as L, mass, denoted by M, and time, denoted by T. Okay, so just with these three things here, we can represent all of that lot and many more besides. Okay, so interesting concept. Let's see how it all works. Let's go through some examples. Okay, speed. We know that one is measured in meters per second. Meters per second. Commonly written as M forward slash S. What well, engineers and scientists should be writing it really as meters times second to the minus one. So it's meters over seconds here. So m over s to the 1, you bring the s to the 1 upstairs and it becomes s to the minus 1. And if you're not familiar with that concept, then have a look at the indices video in this mini-series. Okay. The way we write on, on notation is important. So when we want to say the dimensions of speed, we write, write the parameter down with square brackets around it. So the dimensions of speed are meters, which is measured as L, length, per second, well, seconds is time, so L, T, to the minus one. Okay, another example would be area. Well, we measure area, standard area now, in square meters. Okay, so that's metre times metre, if you like, if you're measuring a carpet, for example. Or you write it as metres squared. And we can say the dimensions of area is equal to some length times a length, or if you like, L squared. So you'll notice we're just sticking with L's and T's and M's, although you haven't seen an M yet, but that's all we're going to do. We're going to just remember upstairs here, this slot. L's, M's and T's only. Okay. Let's have a look at another. Volume. We 
volume, well, it's cubic meters. So it has one more dimension um, than area. Area just has X and Y, if you like, on a page, up and down, um, and also left and right. Whereas with volume, you're considering in and out of the page, if you like, or in, in space. Okay, so volume is cubic meters. Meters times meters times meters. And predictably, the dimensions of volume are equal to some length cubed. Okay, now we look at density. Density, remember, is mass over volume. And the dimensions of density is, okay, so we know it's mass, mass is M, over volume, so it's going to be L cubed, or L cubed with a minus three up there, if you bring it upstairs, M L to the minus three. Okay, acceleration is another one to look at. Acceleration. That is, of course, speed over time. Well, we knew what speed was up here. Here it is. It's LT to the minus 1. Well, you're going to then write LT to the minus 1, which is speed, sitting over time. So, therefore, you've got LT to the minus 1, there's a one there. Take away the bottom power, and we end up with LT to the minus 2. If you don't understand that, watch the indices video, as I said earlier. Okay, force is another important one to look at. Force is mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration. Okay, we can therefore say the just redo that bit. Dimensions of force is well saying mass m times acceleration, which is this guy up here. So we just put it in afterwards. And it's MLT to the minus 2. That's the dimensions of force. Etc., etc. And we can use a reference table, which I prepared earlier. It's up here. Okay. So mass M, M. Area, length times length, length squared. Density, ml to the minus 3. Plenty of these you can um, equate from earlier. There's plenty more here for you to reference. Just one last example here. So another example. Let's pick um, Ohm's law. Electrical current, I equals V over R. In other words, current equals voltage over resistance. If we therefore transpose, or not transpose, but we will place in those particular dimensions for those parameters, we can say the um, dimensions of current are equal to the dimensions of voltage over the dimensions of resistance. So let's find them all. So what's the dimensions of voltage? I can see them here in this table. Maybe I should use red. 
there is the dimensions of voltage. And we have L to the 0 0.5, M to the 0 0.5, T to the minus 1. Okay, that's what they are. Just accept them. You don't keep, have to derive every single one. Now we're looking for the dimensions of electrical resistance are here, okay, and that's this loss. So we go down and we write those dimensions in at the bottom there. L to the minus one T. That's when you have a go at your uh, exercising your indices expertise. So look at the L's first of all. And we have L to the 0.5 take away what's on the bottom which is minus 1 okay M's at the top there's no M's at the bottom so we're just going to be what we already have M to the 0.5 T where we do have some T's there we have T to the minus 1 at the top we're going to take away what's on the bottom well T is on the bottom T is just T to the 1 so we do that and we end up with minus minus gives you a plus so that's going to be 0 0.5 plus 1 that's going to be L to the 1.5 M to the 0 0.5 is just itself so we just write that in we can't do anything with that and we have T to the minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2 so we have T to the minus 2. Okay, so we're saying that is the um, the dimensions of electrical current and if you look at current which is here in the table we find out that those things are indeed those things that are Okay, so you could play about with dimensional analysis and you can, um, you can spot mistakes, you could possibly um, project formulae that have never been projected before. You can check formulae, you can do lots of um, clever things with it um, to try to minimise mistakes in engineering and science. Okay, so there are a few other videos in this series, transposing formulae. Um, some revision of indices, as I've mentioned a couple of times. Um, we'll look at the dimensions of resistance, the dimensions of frequency. We go a little bit more advanced and we look at simultaneous equations and three ways to solve those. And finally, we'll look at how we can actually derive equations using our newly found dimensional analysis skills. Okay, thanks. See you next time.